Tony Thompson joins us today following the uh, superb victory over Torquay United on Tuesday night. Tony, what a fantastic result that was. Uh, probably one of the best in, in your time here. Yeah, definitely. Um, sometimes we make hard work of things, especially going one goal down. But um, we were just talking on the way down there about how far we've actually travelled to actually we wanted to take as much as we can from them. Uh, we knew that they were top of the league by a lot of like 10 points uh, but at the end of the day any team's beatable in this league um, and you know the way we're going we feel we feel um, on top of our game to be fair It was a very scruffy goal that we conceded uh, from the moment it's left uh, Lemon Hay Evans' uh, free kick Yeah I thought I thought I had it initially um, I thought it spread well and then he had like a go-go gadget leg I think it just popped out of nowhere so no, it's just one of them things. You just take it and try and move on. They used they used the um, the weather well, like the wind and stuff. So now you've uh, been on a number of long trips with Altering, but I'm, I'm guessing that was probably the longest. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we set I set off from mine. I think at eleven quarter past eleven. Got to the ground at like quarter past six. I think it was. And um, yeah, it's it's a long one, but you know we, we've as you say we've been everywhere together. So. We all know the ins and outs of each other, and we get on really well on the coaches. And um, the journeys are good. Um, you got. I'm missing my two scouts mates though, but like, yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, no, Sean Densmore or Simon Richmond on uh, on Tuesday night, or Sean Williams. Sean Williams, don't forget about that one. Yeah, <laughs> he'll kill you then. He will. <laughs> so, when you did get back, were you straight back into work then? Yeah. So, well, to be fair, I booked um, the morning off, so I went back in at twelve, but. I felt worse on the Thursday. I think it was like a three-day hangover. Um, felt all right on the Wednesday, as you say, but then Thursday it hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, but it was a really good game first half, and we've had a, a, a magnificent purple patch just before half time. Um, Josh Hancock. I don't think I real, quite realised what a good turn it was on the night, but it was a superb piece of play to win the penalty, and then an excellent uh, dispatch and Ryan Colclough as well. A phenomenal finish. Yeah, uh, I say it all the time about Josh anyone asks me questions about him I don't think I've played with a player that can turn so well with someone so tight um, he gets it himself in some unreal pockets and he gets out of them really well as well um, and then for Koki it's just what he does in it he's, he's class he's a class act like and that just shows the standard of the players that we're bringing in at the minute um, with such a big limelight um, we're attracting a lot better players I'm not saying the ones that we've had in the past are any any worse, but the standard of players is unbelievable. Bringing Alistair in, Joel, you've got Kochi, you've got lads, Dan Mooney, you know, they're really good um, players for the league, hopefully in the future, do you know what I mean? So. And we're in fourth position now, and we're there on merit. It's not by good fortune. You just said the quality of players that we've we've got now with what we already had has made us a real a real um, contender now for the for the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I think we spoke it. We spoke in the uh, we spoke in at the start of the season. We were talking about staying in the league, um, but now we might even get out the league the other end. So it's great to see. It's great to see, and and what a feeling. Um, just, just a bit weird with the games in hand and like everyone playing different amount of games. But we could we could go out the other end of the, like the table. To be fair, when we were talking before the league about just staying in and staying safe. And it's been a really good season for you uh, personally. Uh, probably your best season to date. Yeah. Um, I was just I've just been talking to the gaffer and a few of the lads and um I'm going into every game with full of confidence. Um and you know, as I think the gaffer's touched on it previously. Um I've always been the same keeper but I've not had much to do. Um and I feel like now I'm getting tested a lot in games and sh and showboating a, a bit like me distribution and the the freedom the gaffer gives us to play out and especially with the players that we've got, finding Josh in pockets and Joel in pockets playing out from the back just just showcases what we can actually do and imagine if we were full time and doing the same thing and which aspect of your game do you think has uh, has most improved um, mentally to be honest <laughs> i used to use i used to lose my head a lot um like small stuff i think it was just standards that you set yourself 
used to affect me a, a lot. But now I'm going into games with a lot, a lot more mature head, um, and just taking it in my stride as well. And football without fans is is different for for everybody. But for goalkeepers, it's particularly different because you will get dogs abuse every game away from home from the yeah. uh, the away fans. So it's a very very different experience for you. Definitely, and it, weirdly enough, I miss it. Um, I think we played. Was it all the shot away and the fans were allowed in? No. no. Dagenham. Dagenham. Um, and yeah, it was just it was nice for them to be calling me names again. <laughs> But yeah, no, we miss them like do we do. Now, one of the reasons that Phil Parkinson brought you here back in 2017 is because of your distribution. Um, but that seems to have changed this shit season. I think it's uh, we're a lot more flexible in terms of the, w the way you move the ball out of the area. Yeah, and as I say, that's the freedom the Gaffer and Sofs gives us. Um, and that's the way we set up. Um, also, it's the confidence you have in the players around you as well. Um, playing out from the back is a bit of a doddle, but... I like finding Joel or Hampo and, and you know, Tom Anigan, great at it. He's got loads of confidence. Toby, Richie, with his experience as well. And even Malty and, or the likes of Willow and that dropping in. It's You get so many options and I think that's, that's what makes it so m much easier in a way. And is there any particular game that stands out for you this season as, as your best performance? Um, I don't know. I, I like Wrexham away. So luckily enough, we've got them Tuesday night. Um, no, I, I think, I don't know, all the Stockport games. Stockport was good first half. Yeah, Stockport first half as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, Stockport maybe. Yeah, definitely. And this uh, Schmeichel type save that uh, you sort of introduced uh, where you sort of do the star jump uh, a couple of years ago, you seem to have developed that and it's a, a really good uh, technique. Yeah, definitely. I like watching Casper and, and obviously his dad as well. Um, yeah, I don't know, I think... You get told to make yourself as big as possible sometimes and it's one thing that I've brought into my game and it works, so I'll keep doing it. And you mentioned it's Wrexham on uh, Tuesday um, and they've had a good little run recently, so that's going to be a very, very uh, tough game. Superb win for us at the racecourse ground uh, back at the beginning of uh, December. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll get the game on. It's looking okay at the, uh, the minute, but uh, I'm sure the lads just can't wait to get back into action. That's it. We just we want to play every week and we want to play every time that we get the chance to. Unluckily enough, like we were off today, um, but it gives us more time to work on them for Tuesday night. Uh, we've just been doing shaping, training, and stuff like that. And yeah, it was a great win last time we we played them, and I'm sure that they'll be the same again this time. Happily, like I'll take it. And what do you think the potential of the the team is this season? Playoffs definitely, um, and even go further. As you say, you've just come off the back of beating the team that are top, meant to be the best team in the league, and I think the lads stood up strong against them. Uh, we played against some big teams this year as well, like your counties and Notts County, and yeah, I think we're well up there. Um, to be fair, the league shocked me as much as like, I think I think teams are shocked at how much we play. I think sometimes they're setting up for us to drop it in behind, and we play into the, to the feet of Josh, or you've got Byron, you've got Tom Piers, and I think teams are shocked that t all the we're breaking them down with passes instead of just going long ball like a lot of teams do in this league. That's the thoughts of uh, Tony Thompson on the superb victory at uh, Torquay the season to date and looking forward to Tuesday night's game against uh, Wrexham. Thanks, one.